and you know he potentially right man for the job yeah i think he's done enough to show that he deserves a run of the job my only concern is you know we're on the verge of being taken over by new chinese owners and quite often when new owners come in they like to have their own men man put in don't they and change things okay now obviously yeah. the current owners the current owners we have a problem with yeah Okay, tell us a little bit about this because they, I think it's a, it's a, it's misfortune as well because they weren't, it's, there's been illness which has then been handed down to the family, but it's not exactly a great ride for you guys at the moment. Yeah, first of all, you know, um, Mr. Alan Senior is very ill, we're very unhappy about, and, uh, you know, we wish him a swift recovery. But the truth is, for the last three years, he's made things very difficult for us as all city fans. You'll see my City Till We Die t shirt here, and I was part of the group that we've begun to oppose the application to the FA for the name change, which most fans thought was completely ridiculous. And frankly, since the unsuccessful application to change our name from Hull City AFC to Hull Tigers, uh, I'm not so sure our owners have acted very responsibly, and most fans in the city will be happy to see them go. Yeah, it does seem that way. Talk us through Steve Bruce leaving. He had no choice, really. Yeah, I think Steve Bruce, had, you know, he, he's a real gentleman, Steve Bruce. He's a tremendous manager and will go down as our most successful manager, and he's still revered in the city. But I think working with our owners was very, very tough for him. And I think he, you know, he was very professional, very resilient, and tried as best as he could to work with them. We had great success with him with the owners, got to an FA Cup final, uh, you know, two promotions, back in the Premier League now, but at the end of the day, I think the uncertainty around money and the personal level of sort of relations just deteriorated, and it was no surprise when he left, and we wish him all the very best for the future. OK, well, we'll get on to Manchester United in a moment, but what is going on with signings? Because you've got David Marshall uh, hopefully coming in from Cardiff. That's another goalkeeper. Now I was tallying up, you've got no players, but the only thing you've got is four goalkeepers. Yeah, I mean, that is a strange one. I don't well, know. baffling, more like. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, presumably they've been looking at him for some time and it doesn't fit in with the sort of desperation situation. But basically we've got until next week to try and sign some players. Cause obviously, By about ten players. <laughs> yeah, but you see, the, the takeover is going through and it's got to go through due diligence and it's got to be looked at by the Premier League. And no one's going to spend any money, are they? Okay, so Ryan Mason, actually, he looked like he was likely, but he's now more unlikely than likely. Sorry, who's that? Ryan Mason? Yeah, um, you know, it looked like... The, he's been mentioned for a long time and we were confident he would come, but I understand Sunderland are looking at him as well. And I guess given the uncertainty still around our ownership, that may work against us, but I'd like to see him come. Now, 50 years as a whole City fan, it's unfortunate. This is probably the best and worst times you've seen, isn't it? You've put that extremely well, because whilst our success on the pitch in the last few years has been magnificent, you know, it has re been a very, very rough time for fans. Off the pitch, it's been awful. Uh, everything's been a mess. We have this crazy membership scheme in place at the moment, which hopefully will be booted out as soon as we have new owners. And... The PR from the current owners has been dreadful, so we just want to change. We want things back to what we would call normal. But ironically, we have had huge success through that period. You have indeed. Now let's talk about today. Did you ever think there would be a day where whole city would go up against Latan? <laughs> Not really, no. Uh, obviously, playing Manchester United is a tough one. But, I mean, we are playing well. And you know what, you're you know, the underdogs and you're the shock, aren't you? I'm not sure you're going to get one over on Jose Mourinho, but it could happen. No, and I think the important thing today is that we, you know, we give our all, we play as a team, as we have been doing, and we, we play in a respectable, hard-working manner. And if we do go down and lose, the big thing will be the next game. You know, we started well, but we need to bounce back if that defeat does come. But the pressure is off today, so... Uh, I'm expecting a decent performance, maybe not a decent result, but a very good performance. And we make some more people. our fingers in the studio across for you. Do you think, I, do you know what, you never know with these things, you never know it's the Premier League, could you be the next Leicester? That is the question. Oh, that's our dream, isn't it? Uh, it is, I'm dreaming. Uh, I suppose the honest answer to that is no, I don't think we're going to be the next Leicester, but I think we could have some selective, very good results this season, and we may just scrape it and stay up. 
Amazing. Well, I'll let you get on to the game. I hope we can hear you screaming and cheering <laughs> somewhere in the background. You will. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, bless. Thank you so much. What a wonderful whole fan. They are yeah. having a weird, weird time at the moment, aren't they? They are. They're flying like an optical. It's only two games in, but a fantastic start. But, you know, I think today's a pretty